All right, friends, we are back like we never left, but we did leave for like a couple of weeks. I digress. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy Thanksgiving. All of that jazz. Um, we are in a new year, which means that it's time to set some goals. But before we do that, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Aronica B. Cole, and I am a plus size sewist where I specialize in projector sewing. I'm also a licensed pattern designer with Nomi Patterns, which is underneath the big five, which I am incredibly excited about. And I'm a mom of three, a wife, so I touch on a couple of those things on this channel. But it's the new year. And it's time to set some new goals. But before we do that, let's do a recap of 2022. So 2022 was, for lack of a better term, developmental, right? So what do I mean by that? 2022 did not kick off the greatest for me because I had some personal stuff going on where we could not get passports and we were headed out of the country. Um, so we had like passport gate. Um, then I had some stuff happening with my kids. My office was not set up to really, um, I don't know. I just wasn't set up in a way that made making garments easy, right? Um, it was just really, really hard for me to be inspired. It was really, really hard for me to uh, even want to create in here. Why? Because I had decided that my cutting table needed to be in the center of my office space. And let me be clear, friends, that just was not good for us to be creating for us to be walking around because I kept bumping into things. I also had this super huge desk for my computer, which I honestly didn't need because most of my time spent in my office is either facing my computer, which is right here, which is why I'm pointing to it, or behind me on my machines. I didn't really need to have that much desk space, but it took up a lot of space. Um, and there was just like the feng shui wasn't feng shui in here, if you get what I mean. But at the towards the end of last year like in the november time frame my husband stopped everything that he was doing so that he could help me create my office in a way that made sense if you have not seen my new office tour definitely um i linked it right here definitely check that out for how i have my office set up now but that wasn't it as far as developmental things that happened then during december literally christmas eve's eve our pipe in our garage burst and that's where my fabric was stored but i'm happy to share that no fabric was ruined there are some fabrics that had to be rewashed and redried and put back away but overall my fabric collection is okay so we're celebrating that as a win but 2022 was also really amazing for a couple of different reasons um one i became an official designer like who's that girl me just a little designer. Um, and this was really mind blowing to me because never would I have ever imagined that someone wanted to make patterns that, or someone wanted to style themselves in a similar fashion to me. I was floored and flabbergasted and overwhelmed with, um, you know, just a lot of feelings and seeing people make them has been incredible. Um, I have loved every single version, every single hack that I have seen out there so far. If you're following me on TikTok, I go live on TikTok in the mornings and we sew together. I sewed um, my pattern, which is ME2005 and it's drafted for a woven, but I hacked my own pattern and I turned it into a knit fat pattern, which is super cool because I made it into a sweatshirt material which obviously I love sweatshirts, right? Because here I am donning a hoodie, but I loved doing that because it came out beautifully. Um, so I loved seeing other people like recreate this, like my first baby in public, right? That was really cool. Um, and you know what? I got the designer itch. I've really just been enjoying sketching. I got into sketching, whereas I was not into fashion sketching before. And now I'm like, I want to design more. So Last year, I also uh, tackled some really hard skills for me. I made my husband his first button down t-shirt. Um, I actually began teaching projector sewing, not something that I ever anticipated doing, but have done it nonetheless. And it's been really successful. Um, 
in that I've also really been able to customize patterns to the shapes of the bodies for the people that I create for. So like my husband is super long limbed and so is my daughter, honestly. Um, so being able to customize their patterns in a way that is more permanent using ink space has been really, really helpful. Um, so 2022 overall, I would say was a success, right? Um, but let's get into whether or not I actually did my make nine. Okay, so I would show you a picture of what my Make 9 looked like, but I'm having to record this on my phone because I actually have no idea where my little camera is that I normally record my videos on. Um, we're going to say a prayer that I find it soon because I don't know where it went. Like, I know I had it last week. Anyway, a year wiser, a year older, a year in questionable memory. So whatever. Um, I made none of my Make 9. I do know that I had like four quilts up on there that I wanted to make. I made one quilt last year, one quilt top rather. And then I know I also had the um, Closet Core Kaye shirt. Um, I also had on there the Chris Woods uh, parasol blouse. Um, I just want to be clear. I made nothing for my make nine. So, but we're going to redo this this year. And I'm going to do it in a way that makes more sense for my my actual closet. I feel like last year I just randomly chose things that I liked, not necessarily things that fit into my aesthetic um, to just kind of challenge myself. And this year I am going to be um, approaching my make nine with a little bit more intention. And I don't know if it'll just be nine because I really want to make sure that I'm goal setting in a way that makes sense for what is going to work best for my one creativity to the fabrics I have on hand and three my actual aesthetic right because if I'm being completely honest I spend my days in leggings and sports bras and that's about it right I'm always prepared to work out even if the workout doesn't occur it's fine but also beginning next month because I f I'm starting my new year off today right today is January what we're on January 9th it's fine I understand that it started like nine days ago today is my new year so today we're beginning New Year's, New Year's goals and shout out to anybody else who feels the same way. So let's get into 2023. What to expect? Um, goals. And I hope that you all have some goals too. So one of the big things that is a huge goal of mine this year is I want to de my extra fabrics. Um, in the beginning of me getting back into sewing, like in my uh, 30s, I'll be 40 this year, y'all bananas but uh when i got back into sewing in my early 30s i just kind of went buck wild and i just went shopping for fabrics that i i thought at the time were pretty but did not fit in any way shape or form into my aesthetic so it's very much so like i would see this beautiful garment hanging on a hanger and would bring it home but it didn't actually fit me that's what i did with fabric i was just like "Ooh, this is pretty Ooh, this is pretty Ooh, this is pretty Ooh, this is pretty not necessarily thinking in terms of what would i actually use this fabric for um so now i just have uh, like literally bins and bins of fabrics that I really don't have a plan for and that does not fit into the aesthetic of anyone in my household that I regularly sew for. So instead of just keeping it for myself, I'm going to do the smart and wise thing and I'm going to de-stash it. It's not going to be free. Sorry, friends. There was a bit of investment made, but it will be priced in such a way that I feel like it'll be affordable. Um, so that will be coming soon. It will probably go live uh, where I'll introduce the fabrics on like TikTok or Instagram live. And then it'll be listed on one of my websites for people to purchase. So that way you can go ahead and add whatever fabrics that you see fit to the cart, check out and everything it will be handled that way. Keep it official, right? So that's a big goal that I have this year. Another big goal that I have is I want to begin to release some of my own patterns. Why? Because I get into like this idea factory and I just want to uh, create, 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 right? And there are so many things that I've seen that I just want to make that are inclusive for plus size bodies that just are not right now, right? So a lot of like my spring patterns that are coming out were inspired by styles that I loved and that I just did not see in plus size sizing. So I decided that we should have it and we're going to have it. So there's that. Uh, so I would love to come out with some of my own uh, PDF projector uh, patterns. So that way, you know, that size inclusivity for some stylish things are getting out there. 
um, and getting out of my brain, more importantly. I also would love to design some more fabrics. I've done some fabric design in the past, uh, literally just for myself and had them printed in, printed in the up enough so that I could, why was that such a tongue teaser? I had enough printed so that I could create the projects that I wanted and that's it. But I really think that I have a uh, good design. So now I think I might want to figure that out and see how that would look someplace else. Um, 2022 was a good year for me because I actually embraced myself as a designer and as someone who is like fashionable. So I'd like to create some more fashion oriented, um, even YouTubes, like get ready with me going into like my closet, into my style aesthetic. So that way, um, you know, I can, I guess, explain myself a little bit more, dare I say. I don't know. But video content, definitely something to keep in mind coming from me because um, even though I don't think I'm excellent at video content, like I think I'm pretty good. I think I'm really great live, which is the reason why these YouTube videos are rarely edited. Why? Because y'all going to get me in the raw. Simple as that. Simple as that. Um, but I do have some specific project goals. So let's get into those, okay? Ooh. Okay, and we're back. Okay, so wait, before we get into like the make nine, one of the other like kind of non-project specific goals that I have is to really use my embroidery machine a lot more. Um, I love embroidery. Like a lot of the pieces that I make that are my favorite pieces are like um, embroidered mesh or embroidered velvet, velour. Like I love embroidered, right? So I like to start to add them to smaller projects, right? Because now I've, I've developed a comfortability with sewing wovens. I'm like, why not throw a little, uh, a little razzle dazzle here, a little mm, there. I have the version nine software for Bernina. Um, and with that software, you can actually take your drawings and things like that and turn them into your embroidery. So I'm going to be working on that. Also shout out to my husband who knows that I'm recording and is like making all of this noise. Okay, so there are some specific patterns that I want to do for my make nine. I know that. So let's get into those first. The first one is my girl Nikki Beauty Du Jour. Um, her pattern for Nomi. So one of the big things that I really wanted to do in 2023 was to really make a coat. Like not just like your basic shacket. I've done that. I've I've conquered the shacket. But I want to make like a heavy duty coat that is like well tailored and Nikki is giving me everything that I need from this here pattern. So I really want to make this. It also comes with these pants that are dope. So we're going to also make those as well. So this is pattern number one. The second pattern is my man Julian creates his pattern as well. These pants are really in right now. They're in very in for both men and women, but I want to make these for my husband. They have been on my to-do list uh, for a while. In fact, I just cut the, the fabric that I plan to use it for last night, but I had to cut it for my daughter so that I could make her some uniforms. I digress. I'm going to get some more Ponzi so that I can make the, these pants specifically for my husband. Now, another jacket that I'm super geeked about making is my man Scorpio's jacket. First of all, Scorpio's design aesthetic is like, but also he feels like the little brother that I always wanted. So I'm definitely excited about this. So you see this here version here, this longer one. I need to make that for homecoming. For those that don't know, I went to Spelman College and homecoming is very big. I have not been attending in the past, but I'm making it a point to attend this year. I will be making this in a baby blue and white because Spelman's colors, hello, and I will be pairing it with some thigh high boots because it's so needed. But my husband also loves bomber jackets as well. So we'll also be making him a bomber jacket in addition to myself because sharing is caring right so these are some of the specific patterns that i have in mind but some other really big goals or some other pieces that i plan on making or rather i actually have one more pattern the blanca flight suit 
going to make it. I was actually talking to someone in my Instagram stories about this because I had shared that we have to stop saving fabric until we lose weight. Now, not everybody falls victim to this because not everybody is out here trying to lose weight. But if you're a plus size and you generally have a weight loss goal, you might be holding on to some fabric and being like, mm, I'm just going to save it for when I get to my body image or my body size. Stop. Let go of that use the fabric now, right? We can edit it once you lose weight, if you decide to, and if you don't, then at least you still have this really dope garment in this beautiful fabric. Let's just stop doing that in 2023. However, I was telling myself that I wanted to hold off on making the Blanca flight suit because I was like, oh, I'm, it's going to be hard. Like I'm plus size, you know, I'm going to feel like I have to use all of this fabric in the world. It's going to feel heavy. I kept telling myself all of the reasons why I wasn't going to make it, but I've committed to making it this week. So expect some YouTube videos on that um, because someone had asked me about how to transfer markings. So we're going to go over how we transfer the markings for the Blanca flight suit because it's different for how I transfer markings on a projector pattern. So, um, the Blanca flight suit is also a specific pattern that I want to make. Now, specific garments that I plan to make this year are a button down shirt for myself because I'm loving this oversized button down shirt look that is going on right now, right? With like the half tuck, it is super cute. I'm living for it. So I want to make a button down shirt. I do have the, uh, I still would like to make the Closet Core Kaye button down shirt but there's also some other button down shirts out there that I would like to possibly experiment with I've never sewn a cashmere wrap pattern I think I've made one of their t-shirts but they have a button down pattern that I think might be worth worthwhile in checking out so I think that I'm going to look into that as well Another thing that I really want to get down and perfect are jeans, right? So I do tend to still buy jeans. Um, in fact, like my favorite brand of jeans to buy right now are Good American, but I know that I can make jeans. Like, yes, I love the way that Good American recycles the denim or uses the recycled denim. It's fantastic, wonderful, and it fits my body amazingly, but why not just make it myself? So that's going to be one of my big goals this year. Um, Y'all know that one of my favorite pattern designers is, um, oh my God, her name just left my mind. We'll come back to it. It's fine. But I was uh, actually in her tester group. I did not turn it in my test because I did not make the jeans when I was supposed to. It was just a lot at the time. But there's a couple of, there's actually three jeans patterns out there that I want to test out. One is the Helen's Closet pattern. Hers is drafted for a denim that has zero stretch. Then there's the Seamwork pattern that has a uh, denim as well. And then there is the, um, you know what, let me actually just pause because I know, I know what this woman's name is. Hold on one second. Okay, so my Freudian slip is over. I've got it. Laura PR, she just came out with her new Farrah pants, jeans, excuse me, and they are drafted for a stretch denim. Cannot wait to try those out and make them. I feel really confident because in 2022, I learned how to do the proper install of the zipper um, into pants. And so that was really challenge, or rather in my head, that was going to be way harder than it was. It was not as hard as in it, I had imagined it to be. So everything was fine. It worked out. But now that I've gotten that skill set down, jeans are a little less intimidating to me because I already knew how to add the po back pockets. That was easy for me. I have already worked with a like pull on jean, which has the back yoke and stuff like that. So that wasn't something that I was concerned about. But adding in that zipper in the button, I was like, I got it down now. We're ready for jeans. So jeans are definitely on the list. I also want to make blazers because I mean, could you picture it like a nice wide leg denim, right? With the oversized button down shirt that is got like the half tuck, like a little French tuck situation and then a nice blazer. Boom. Or having that oversized blazer paired with like a mini skirt. Yeah. It's going to be in the cards. So also mini skirts. Like I really would like to make sure that I am showing my legs. Why? Not because I've fallen in love with them magically, right? I'm still navigating my insecurities about them. But also I just like showing my, my legs. Like I love the mini skirt look. I think that thick thighs, you know, should be shown. 
And I've got thick thighs that are out here saving lives and performing miracles. So a mini skirt is perfect for me. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to get into this mini skirt phenomenon. But I need, to, I need to make sure that I'm navigating it in such a way so that I'm not exposing everyone to the sun, the moon, and the stars. Because that's not what we're looking to do, right? So... Those are some of the projects that we have in mind for this year. I also need to finish. Okay, so listen, if you've been rocking with me on Instagram for some time, you already know that I have customized some Jordans. Let me show you where we are with those. Okay, we are right. So we have the, the Jordan together. It's together. The last step is adding the soul, which is for some odd reason so scary for me. So obviously that means that my goal this year is to finish these to completion right and so um i'd actually kind of like to take the tongue off right here and i i would like to we'll see if this happens but i'd like to design like a little embroidery like a little zhuzh on it right that said like air ronnie or something cute like that but ultimately we've got to finish these jordans we cannot let them go another year being undone in fact this one is top priority for this quarter i'm not gonna lie and say this month because we're we're being truthful here right we're not we're not lying so this is a top goal and there were so many mistakes that were made but i want to finish them so that way i feel like i can move on to my next pair i can't move on to my next pair until i complete this first pair so i had a lot of fun doing this and it is something that i would do again absolutely especially because look at how cute these are this is my interpretation of what I thought the Ferris Bueller dunks should look like. If you have never seen the Ferris Bueller dunks, definitely go Google it. These are Jordan 1s though, so they're a little different as far as the actual sneaker goes. For those that don't know, I'm a sneakerhead. I love sneakers. I think they're amazing. And now I do not attend events that don't allow for me to wear sneakers. Okay, so we're going to finish those Jordans as well. Very big goal. Next goal is to quilt the quilt tops that I have created. Yes, your girl is a quilter. Okay, almost. But I need to just quilt these quilt tops. So got to get those finished. I would love to. I do actually plan on making a couple more quilts. Um, I specifically will be using, let me move over so you can see her, Bernadette, which is my L890. And she is a serger. So I want to complete a quilt top using a serger and show everyone how to do it, right? Because I really feel like... Um, like Bernina, everyone knows them for quilting, but Berninas are really versatile machines, right? So like you can absolutely use your serger to create a quilt top, just like my L8, I mean, my B590, I love to make clothes with. So, you know, I just want to showcase some of those other skill sets, but those are some of the goals that I have going into 2023. I would also love to be teaching more. So we'll see. But also I do have a, an event that I will be teaching at coming up in March. If you are in the Washington area, I will be teaching at the uh, Sewing and Stitching Expo. I think I have like three or four classes that are there. And my bad, I just covered up the mic. Y'all know I'm like a boomer at this YouTube thing, but we're out here. We're creating content. Okay. So boom, we're, we did it. Okay. But also how cute is my tiny mic? Ah, he's cute. Okay. So listen, friends, that is the conclusion to this video. I wanted to hop on and really make a, a an intro video to the year. Say happy new year. Wish nothing but love, joy, and success to you in 2023. And let's go dominate these goals together. Go ahead and drop a comment with what sewing goals you have this year, as well as what types of videos you'd love to see from me this year. I would love to hear what's on your mind as well. If you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you can be seen or so that you can see whenever I drop new videos, make sure that you turn on the little bell so that you're notified when these babies come on. And you want to turn on the bell because I am known for sporadically going live and you don't want to miss me live. I'm pretty damn good. Anyways, I'll see you all later. Ta-ta for now.